Welcome to this tutorial request in which we will be picking up weapons and swapping out any equipped weapons that we already have. So let's just jump into it. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So this is essentially what we will be creating today. We have these two swords on the ground now here that are pick upable and they will be handed into her left hand. So if we run over this first one over here, you can see that she has now picked up the new sword and she's dual wielding. And if she picks up another sword while she's wearing one, she will drop the old sword on the floor and pick up the new one. And this works fine like this. And it also simulates physics. So if you're lucky, you can get something thrown off the cliffs like that. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26. This is from the combo animation system. So we're going to be continuing from that. Uh, and what we're going to be creating today is fairly simple. We're going to be creating a weapon pickup system. And to do this, the first thing we will need to have are weapons to actually pick up. So let's create a class for that. So we go to blueprint class, pick actor, call it BP underscore weapon pickup. We go into that and we create something very simple. We add a component. We'll have skeletal meshes and that is because we have a bunch of weapons which are made of skeletal meshes. In, in addition to that, we want to have a collision sphere so we are able to pick things up. So we'll pick a collision sphere uh, so. So uh, and everything that enters this collision sphere will be able to pick this weapon up essentially. We compile and save. We make sure to go down on our sphere here to on component begin overlap. And here we want to add the ability to pick up the weapon. So how do we do that? Well, to make things clean and nice, we will create an interface. So we'll go to blueprints and blueprint interfaces. Call it BPI underscore weapon pickup. And we'll open that up. We'll create a function called pick up weapon. We'll add one input for it, which will be a, a BP weapon, which we just created, a weapon pickup, object reference, and we'll just call it weapon picked up. And that's everything we need to do here, and we'll close this down. Now this interface we're going to use with our character, so we actually let the character pick things up. So in my case, I'm going to be making use of this character, so I'm going to be opening it up. And I'm going to be adding this interface to this character. So adding interface over here with class settings, BPI underscore weapon pickup. Now that we have that created, we can now uh, implement this function, this event. So we implement this event and this is what we get. Next up, <clears throat> we can now go back to our weapon blueprint. And we can now say that whenever this sphere is being overlapped, we want to check if the other actor implements an interface. And we want to check against the interface that we just created, the weapon pickup. We'll create a branch so we can check against the, the result from this. Add it like so. And if this is true, we want the character to pick it up. So we'll send a message here. Uh, pick up weapon is the class name. So the target is going to be the other actor. So we'll make sure to drag the other actor node or a pin line, execution line. It's not an execution line, sorry. Uh, object reference in there. And the weapon to pick up is self. Like so. And now we're pretty much done here. So we'll go back to our character again. Our character will have to pick up the weapon and also if we have one equipped, it wants to drop it. So to have an equipped weapon, we're going to make a variable for this character, which we will call equipped weapon. We will make it of the type BP weapon, weapon pickup, object reference, like so. And now essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to drag this equipped weapon and we are going to get a validated git. So if this weapon is valid, meaning we already have a weapon equipped, then we want to drop it. So what we want to do then is we want to say 
detach from actor because we will be attaching this in a little bit. We will change the location rule to be keep world in all these three different settings. And if we don't have a valid reference here, we want to actually pick up the weapon that we picked up, uh, traversed over essentially. So first things first, <clears throat> we want to, sorry, I had to go get some water for my throat. <clears throat> anyway, so back to the business. Uh, if it is not valid, we want to pick up the new weapon and attach it. So what we'll do is we'll get a reference to our mesh and we'll say attach to component. So we'll get an attached actor to component over here and we'll plug this in. And the parent here is the mesh and the target is going to be the new weapon reference that we are getting in. Like so. Our socket name here is going to be a socket that this character already has. I believe it's called weapon underscore L. If you do not have a socket on your character, I will, I have a tutorial for that and I'll paste a link in the description so you can go and fix that if you want to. Uh, for the location role, rule, we're gonna take snap to target on all of these, like so. And after that, we are going to make sure that we're hooking up like so. We want to set our equipped weapon to be the new weapon that we sent in here. Let's redirect this a little bit. Uh, maybe if we put it up here, it'll be better. So. Then we want to set this weapon and we'll get this weapon from the input from the event itself. Like so. So we're getting a val this is a validated get making sure that we have a reference also giving us these execution pins if in case I didn't mention that. But essentially if it is valid we are already equipping something we're gonna detach the actor first then we're gonna attach a new actor then we're gonna be equipping our weapon. And these two steps are equally done for uh, both different scenarios. We compile and save. Now for our weapon, let's go back to it for a moment. We want to have a weapon that actually can fall into the world, interact a little bit, feel a little bit alive, like not just a static thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here to our in, in my case, I have Infinity Blade weapons imported to this project. We're going to take a few of these weapons. We can take uh, the Dragon Sword here, for example. And we're going to be making use of this for simulating physics. To do that with a skeletal mesh, we need to have a physics asset. And you can see that it's marked in yellow that we have a physics asset, none. To create one, we go just to create physics asset create and assign, and here you can choose what kind of a shape you want to have and some things like that. We're just gonna be being a bit lazy, taking a box, it will be okay, not great, but good enough for our purposes. So now we've made it for the Dragon Blade. Can save that, let's make one for another one. Let's see this one, Glimmer, it'll be fine. Let's do that one as well. We create physics assets, create and assign, make a box, create asset, we save it, we close it down. Make sure to save the skeletal mesh as well. And now that is basically basically done. We can now go to our weapon pickup. We can create a few children. So we can call this uh, BP weapon pickup glimmer. And we can make a duplicate of this one and say instead of glimmer, I think it's dragon blade. We can open up the dragon blade can go to its skeletal mesh over here and we can say that it should use the dragon sword over here and we'll just no did I not no let's try it again now I have it selected now it's in here and let's open up lists open up the other pickup we created the child for glimmer and let's go find the glimmer sword Mark the skeletal mesh, we go in and we mark it like so. 
So now we have the swords in here. Let's go to the base class for the weapon pickup. And on skeletal mesh, we can say that we want to have physics simulate. Physics is disabled. <clears throat> right, we also need to fix uh, the collisions for this. So let's go and do that first. So we go type in collision. We want to change our collision presets here. We can first choose block all because we want it to interact with everything. However, there are some things we want to ignore, which is pawns and the camera. So they don't actually make the camera fly around or the character have problems with it. So after we have chosen black all, block all, we choose custom. That way everything will be blocked here immediately and we can just say ignore camera and ignore pawns. And then we compile and save. And let's see here. Uh, I do believe that this one needs to have a skeletal mesh for it to know if it can simulate. So let's take one of the swords that we have. So like the dragon sword. Click on that, go to the basic one, insert a skeletal mesh here, <clears throat> compile, save, type in simulate, and now it allows us to simulate physics. So we'll attach that over there, or check that over there. Now that part is done. Let's go back here. There's one more thing I think we want to do on the player character over here. We want to take our skeletal mesh here and drag it up and drop it on the default scene route, making it the default scene route, like so. Making it the center of the, the blueprint, essentially. Since we are now picking it up, we no longer need to simulate it. So we'll take ourselves here. I'll take the skeletal mesh. The simulate physics to be false. So, and compile and save. We can go to our character. And equally, when we're detaching something, we want it to resume to have physics. So, we can make sure to set the simulate physics of this here. There we go. So we're stopping to simulate here, and when we detach it, we're starting to simulate again. Now we should be able to try this out. Um, so let's go find our weapons. We'll drag out a dragon blade, a glimmer. Let's have another glimmer, and we press play. Now we can see that the weapons sort of fall down because of the physics that they're simulating, we run over one of them, we pick it up, we now have two weapons, we can run over here to this weapon, and we have picked up that weapon, pick up here, whoops, that weapon flew to Kingdom Kong, so yeah, um, the, this doesn't look like they're changing, but they're changing because they, they're the same blade. So essentially, that, that's how you do this, and it's a very simple system, essentially, and it's fairly decent. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.